Hello anyone who might be watching, I'm going to do a quick run. Lining up vertexes into a row between two points. So to do that, I'm going to turn on the wireframe and draw all edges on this cube. And I am going to do a quick subdivision and simple modifier. Make it three levels, that should probably work. And apply it. So when we go into mesh edit mode, we have this mesh cube thing here. <laughs> so what I am going to do is rotate this entire cube by 45 degrees on the x-axis. That'll work. So we have our cube with edges that are aligned strangely in <laughs> at an angle. And I don't think I need all these edges, so I'll probably delete some edge loops just to get them out of the way. So I'll probably go edge loop there and edge loop there and clear those loops out. And I'll probably go with these two. Oops, I got to down a shift. Okay, and the thing I want to show with alignment is I'll probably do the just an X, Y, or Z alignment pretty quick, which is easy enough to do. So to do that first, I'll do active element, and I'll switch the vertex mode. So whatever thing you select last, as you see, is white instead of just orange. So if I hold down Shift. And you'll also see the handle goes to it. It's your active element. In this case, I am just going to scale to where this active element is by a scale of 0 on the z-axis. And that brings up all those edges. But you can now see there is a distortion here. So what we'll do next is try to connect these two vertices. And I'll use J and it actually works but as you can see it follows this weird weird curve and you could get it straighter with a knife tool so I'll show on the other side the knife tool and you'll see the cursor change like a red outline when you get snapped and snapped there seems a little straighter but it still follows yeah it still follows a kind of curve Let's say we want to have this line of vertices straightened out, and that's kind of what I'm going to show you now. A quick way to do that, without having to rotate this or line it or do anything goofy to get it to line up, like using a, like I just did that row of edges, is to use a custom transform. And you define an edge by using two points. So two points will define an edge, three points will define a plane, and more points than three will also define a plane, and a single point by itself will define the normals of that vertex. So yeah, these are actually vertices, but no point, same thing. That's what I'm referring to, at least. So, what we want to do to get this straightened out is select both of these vertices to define the edge. So select two, like so. And then we go to Transform Orientations, and we click the plus icon. And as you see here, this little menu shows up in this below the left side tools menu. It says, Overwrite Previous Views View and all that. Well, we're not too worried about that, but Overwrite Previous means that when you go to pick your custom transformation, normally you'll have to clear this out every time you switch it. So I just usually check Overwrite Previous if I'm going to be doing this a lot. But that edge, if you see here, the z-axis, or the z-axis, is what is defined by the edge of that two points. So, and it will align to the active element, the pivot point is the active element. So, what we do now is select all of these, 
and the active element is there so that active element is where that line will pass through so if we scale to Z on the constrained axis so holding the shift Z first time will be the global Z so you hit Z again and that puts it in the local Z and then you hit zero bam look at that they are all straight in a line by the edge we just defined and since we had that setting on all we have to do to set our next edge is click that point there this point there and just hit plus I believe and see those handles snapped and we overwritten the previous otherwise we'd have to click X every time and that gets a little old so now we have that edge defined and we do the same thing bam bam Handles are in the way. A little bit, but no big deal. S, shift Z, shift Z, and zero, and boom. Like that. Nice straight edge. All those vertices are aligned, and you didn't have to rotate anything. All you had to do is define that custom transform. And let's say I don't like this because the proportioning of these edges is weird. I would recommend using the Loop Tools plugin and select all of these edges here. And I have the Loop Tools plugin installed, so I will do this. And I will just hit space, and it defines the space in between these evenly. As you can see, it kind of lines up, so. The same there. Actually, I just hit all this a lot faster. And then W. <laughs> and space. And you get this nice alignment, and those edges are in line with that. So, if I wanted to flatten this face, I could just here, here, J. Oh, it doesn't want to work this time. It's doing it. It froze on me. <laughs> Why is it doing it? Where's it calculating the edge? I notice sometimes when you use J to draw a new edge, it acts weird. Knife tool seems to be more reliable for some reason. Can I escape out of that? Oh, well, anyhow. <laughs> it crashed. But anyhow. Normally that would work, but I don't know. Maybe there's a new bug in a new version. Use the knife tool. It's a little bit more reliable than joining a cross face. And that's it. <laughs> Alright, bye.